Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm back, and I'm here bringing on NBA 2K21, uh, the demo that dropped today, and I'm here to bring y'all what I think is a very good build for NBA 2K21 that a lot of people probably already know. I'm just here to bring it to y'all, and this is my first or my first ever um, build drop. So, let me know down in the comment section if y'all want to see more of these. I am going to be bringing 2K rebuilds, Madden gameplay, face the franchise for Madden, and I'm also going to be in a 2K league. And I'll bring out some pro am gameplay too. So if y'all enjoy my content, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's hop into the video, guys. So for this build, what the plan is is a small forward, of course. It doesn't matter; you can be left-handed or right-handed. And the play chart I want like to pick is the playmaking pie chart, which isn't. It's not the worst, but it's not. It's not really bad because they said you need to have at least close to 70, around a 73. And on here, you'll get a 73. And if it's still the same as last 2K, you'll still get the plus, what, what was it, plus 4 or 5 to the 3. So you'll get like a 77, 76, 3. And for this, I want you to get 12 shooting badges, which I think is what you need, 12 shooting badges. And then for the finishing, you max out all your uh, main ones, the driving dunk, driving layup, and close shot. And then you, I like the post hook better, because last year post hook was kind of OP, but we don't know about it this year. And then... You can max it out to where you'll get a 7th badge, a 7th finishing badge. And then I like to max out post moves for this build. And then I would like, you already get 29 badges when you get, um, you already get 29 badges, playmaking badges at, uh, when you max out the ball handling and post moves. And then I want to max out the defensive rebounding, of course, and then perimeter and lateral quickness. And I do also, you can do offensive rebound if you want, it's not that big of a key. And then, I think what I did was, I took this down, the post moves I took down to where you only need like a 75 post move. And then, you get 7 defensive badges, and then, I did something. There, hold on, there was like something that I did. I think I took this down to 21 or something. I took it down to something. I just literally had like 8 badges. I had 8 finishing badges somehow, but... Um, maybe I didn't max this out. I'm not sure, man, but... I think it was like this. Um... Yeah, I kind of don't keep it out, but you can put it wherever you want. You can get an extra that make it bad. You'll have 23, 12, 7, and 7, which isn't bad. And um, you can ready, uh, you hit next. And I did go to speed pie chart, of course. And you have solid. You can do whatever body type you use. I used to go with the fine. And then you can go what I like. Cause you're going to be playing small forward it doesn't really matter honestly you can go to 16 and small forward this year it's pretty crazy but your stats will go way down like 23 ball you lose 23 in ball handling you lose 15 and 15 in your perimeter and lateral quickness your shots go down you're just terrible at 610 unless you want to make a pure defender there i would not recommend going 610 this year but i like going 66 or you can stay at 67 it really doesn't matter at 66 you'll get a little bit better at everything you'll lose some in post moves but you can make that up when you um put your weight down but i'm gonna stay at six seven just for the sake of the video and with uh if you put if you put your weight down your speed goes up this year i did not know that so i don't think that was like that last year it was just acceleration last year and the more weight you put on the more speed you do. that's crazy so you can pretty much have potential to have 90 speed at a 6-7 small a 6-7 small fourth that is crazy so i'm going to go with 90 speed and you'll pretty much have 99 speed with this build because you get plus five and then you do your workout it's another plus four so you'll get 99 speed with this build pretty much and then I like to max the wingspan out, but some people don't. So I would just leave the wingspan how it is. And then for the, you can get lockdown takeover with this build. You know how OP that would be? Or finishing, you can't get post takeover, which kind of sucks. But I'll go through the finishing or lockdown takeover. And for the sake of the video, I feel like slashing takeover was OP. You should probably go with slashing takeover. I'd probably go with lockdown. 
So if you hit 9 on overall, you still get this build. Yada, yada, yada. And of course you want contact finisher for this build. I like slithery finisher because it avoids contact of course. And then you can just put it on like Giant Slayer or Pro Touch, whatever y'all recommend. And then for the shooting badges, I'll put catch and shoot on silver. Corner specialist on gold. And then of course range extender on gold. And there's no, uh, what do you call it this here? There's no, um, quick draw. So then I'll probably put Dead Eye like on silver and then like Green Machine on silver. I liked Green Machine last year. I don't know how these badges work this year. You could do Hot Zone Hunter also, which it was a good badge. And then the playmaking come in where I like full spin. Go and have a quick first step. Probably put this on gold. I don't know. Floor General you can have. It depends on your teammates, you know. If you're playing like a full five, you can have Floor General on. But usually I'll go with Handles for Days. Space Crater on gold. Unpluckable I'll have on bronze, tight handles on Hall of Fame, and then needle threader on bronze, and then I'll usually have downhill on uh, silver. But you're already 90 speed, so you don't really need that. You could go with dimer to help your teammates better, or you could go with um, floor general, whichever one. Maybe ankle breaker works this year. It depends on how you play and how you like the game. And last but not least, we are going to be doing the defensive one, where I clearly I will put gold clans. And Tim Lear, I would only put like on silver. And then for the last two, it doesn't really matter what you put on. I would probably put it on um, Pig Dodger. So you don't get picked too much. Because you are only 180 pounds. But uh, yeah, that's my build. And let me know down in the comment section what y'all think. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.